Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your August 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Cancer. Cancer, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Cancer, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? What is going on with Cancer? What is going on? Okay. Wow. All major arcana surrounding everything here this is beautiful we got the world the sun the star and the high priestess and god knows that is you you've been so confused you've had so much mixed emotions in regards to a situation here um i just feel like you don't know what to do you know you've been going back and forth I feel like you are feeling that the person you're dealing with may have other options. I feel like there's information that's going to come your way um, that is going to help you to move forward. It's going to help you to close this chapter that you've been struggling with. And this is going to be the universe's way of kind of pushing you in a different direction, in a better direction. So information coming to you and you're going to have to, um, it's almost like you're going to have to brace for it, but it's almost like you need this information so that you can really see, okay, um, so that you can really see. And the advice is, you know, high priestess, high priestess is, and I'm jumping the gun here, uses her intuition, right? And that's not what you've been doing. You've been pushing your intuition, your God-given Cancerian intuition, your gift of seeing through some BS, and you've been pushing it down. It's almost like you've been in a denial here. But this is going to, this information is going to kind of, it may hit you a little hard, but what's going to happen here is all this confusion, all these mixed emotions, and I feel like there's illusion around you. Somebody is trying to fool you, pull the wool over your eyes. This is going to help you see very, very clearly, because see, you haven't been seeing clearly. You haven't been seeing things for what they really are, but that's getting ready to change. Seven of Cups, no more illusion, no more confusion, no more mixed emotions. You're getting ready to to get very clear and you're getting ready to head into a new direction okay I feel like the person that you are were dealing with very guarded you couldn't really get to the heart of the matter right you couldn't really get to their heart you really didn't know and I feel like you've been holding on to this you've been holding on to this energy pretty tight even though they're very stingy with their heart and their emotions and probably their time so four of pentacles here that's earth energy this is you i feel like you're going to evolve okay now you could be dealing with another water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart with this king of cups here but i feel like this is you male or female and i feel like you you're growing emotionally and you're growing spiritually all right, you're going to come out of this most definitely in charge and on top of your game. But this is going to be a little bit of a process. Um, justice here, big decisions are going to be made. You're going to be following your heart and following your intuition. 
You could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with strong Libra in their chart, but I feel like Cancer, what you're dealing with is an extraordinarily karmic situation. And we got to make a very clear, we got to use that sword here, very clear to cut through all this confusion. Okay. It's almost like we're holding on to a fantasy and we're getting ready to cut that fantasy loose because we can't get to this person's heart. They won't allow us to do that. So we're going to have to make a decision, cut them out, you know, and find balance here. This is going to go in your favor once the decision is made, okay? So Cancer, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. All right, so Page of Wands. This is a situation where information is coming to you. This is information. This may get you a little bit heated, may get you upset, passionate communication, but this is news coming in to you. This is going to be delivered to you one way or another. The universe will see to it. And this is going to help you get clear. And this is going to help you see, right? We got the sun card. And this is, um, this, you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. This is in the challenge position. You have not been able to see things clearly. Okay, so this information is going to push you into taking off, it's, I want to say, what they say, rose-colored glasses or whatever, um, and get past the illusion and get past the fantasy and realize this person is being very stingy with their heart, their time, their emotion, and, and their communication and their effort. They're definitely not giving you what you need here. And the new beginning between the two of you and the happiness between the two of you is just not happening. All right. And you have been pushing this realization because it is a big realization down and down and down. Well, now it's this information is going to force you to take this blindfold off and force you to make a very clear decision here. Okay. They're not going to be able to fool you. They're not going to be able to BS you, right? Your advice, follow that intuition, awaken that intuition. You know what's going on here. You know that there are secrets here and um, you're going to have to follow what you feel in your gut instead of pushing it down. The focus is wish fulfillment, right? The focus is also going to be healing and finding your balance again for sure. Your wish fulfillment and this, this situation is going to make you realize is you're not getting what you want out of this situation and your wish fulfillment is going to be somewhere else with a new energy and a new chapter. Okay, because you're not getting what you want. You're not getting your, your wishes met, your needs met. So you're going to find your balance and your happiness somewhere else. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. We have the world here. So this is going to catapult you into closing out this very um, confusing chapter in your life and moving on to something else. Plain and simple here, Cancer. Big decision for you. Look here, moving on. Cancer's moving on. Leaving it, leaving it behind. You're moving on to something better and the universe is almost having to force you to do that. Okay, because you've been holding on to this. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. You've been holding on to this. And you've been unable to see or, or refusing to see what's really going on here. So now that you see, now that this information has come to you, these secrets maybe, some secrets being revealed here to you so that you can move on. You're going to be finding something out. That's for damn sure. And it's going to be like, nope, I'm out. You're gone. No more illusion. No more confusion. No more BS. I'm done. Six of Swords, that is air energy. Please clarify the world card for cancer. Please clarify the world card. For cancer. 
Yeah. You're going to be following your heart towards something else here. Okay. There's going to be a period of rest for you after you make this bold decision and bold move. Right? There is. But like I said, there's something great that's going to be coming in for you with this lover's card. A very strong connection that this whole situation has been preventing. Okay. So yeah, you're going to have to think about this for a while and get clear about what you want to do when this information does come in. But you're going to follow your heart here. That is for sure. And like I said, you may need like a little bit of a break in regards to relationships after this comes to a close, but you're moving on from it. Once we're on the other side of that, because this is just some cancer quiet time, some healing, some reflecting, and that's fine. There's something amazing coming in here for you with this card. Be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. Let's pull you some romance angels here. This is for cancer. What is going on with cancer? What is going on with cancer? Big Ted snoring. I don't know if you can hear him. What is going on with cancer? Let's see. Big Ted is my dog. <laughs> this is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? Mm, this is the kind of energy that you need in your life. I told you, once you get rid of this individual that won't even open up to you, and you get past this mess, look at what's coming in. I absolutely love that. Yeah, it is a very strong connection. It's a divine connection. You, it, it, it hasn't been able to get to you because you've been, you've been um, so confused about this person and you haven't been able to see what's been really going on here, but you will know. And you're going to make a very clear decision to move on to something better and look at what, is, what, what this is. We have attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there's big time attraction, big time chemistry with whoever this is that's coming in. Past life relationships, you have known each other before. And with the lovers here, so you're being guided. Okay, the universe is stepping in. This is like divine intervention here with whatever this is revealed because it's time for you and a true connection to get together. And whoever this is in the past has been preventing that for you. So I feel like this is a little bit of a divine intervention here for you, Cancer. This information that's going to help you see very, very clearly what you need to do. No more confusion here. So we're going to get to the good stuff and leave all this uh, drama behind. Hallelujah. Cancer, that's nice. That's nice. A lot of new energy coming in, and I like that. That's a good thing, right? You can tell, you know, we are definitely not in Mercury retrograde anymore. When it's Mer Mercury retrograde season, it's the Six of Cups every second. Oh my God. So we're getting ready to make some bold moves to allow beautiful energy into our life, Cancer. And that's absolutely amazing. I hope you have enjoyed your reading. And um, I hope it resonates for some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Cancer, for those of you that are new, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. All that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. I'll be working on the future love reads next week, so check those out. Cancer, you have an amazing day, and you take very good care of yourself, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.